XRP, we start with monthly chart and we don't have much new information based on monthly chart. Still, we are within the, the way is moving is very corrective. And if the price could break this low, when we can expect the price drop to the 30 cent, the possibility for the price to retest the 30 cent is very high. This is what I mentioned in my last analysis. Anyway, we're looking for continuation. We're looking for buy. It doesn't mean we cannot really look for the trade setup as a buy. And uh, as I mentioned, the breakout of the 94 cent is very important for us to confirm for continuation and breakout of any of the next levels. Anyway, for me, I still, uh, if I get any opportunity for buy based on lower time frame, I will take it. But at the same time, we should know how to manage it because if it doesn't move in our direction, the possibility for the price to retest the 30 cent is there. And if I move the lower time frame, as what we explained in my last analysis, there was no opportunity for buy because I mentioned we are looking to see whether we can get this any opportunity for buy from this correction as a daily or not. Okay, since the price dropped, then uh, we have to wait. And based on daily chart, I don't see any trade setup. And if I move to forward chart, all right, based on forward chart, if the price could have retest the previous low following by divergence, then any reversal for buy from there, I will take it, okay? But at this point, if anyone wants to look for buy, we do the, we, that's mean we don't need to really wait for the price to retest the previous low because if the price retest this low following by divergence, then any reversal, it can give us a good trade setup. But at this point, even we don't see any trade setup, we are waiting, we see whether we can get any opportunity for buy from here, but will be a short-term trade. It depends whether we want to take that trade or not. And as I mentioned at this point, I don't see really good trades at all, okay? And as what I explained based on forward chart, to look for the trade for buy, the only option is to put the entry above this one somewhere around 55 cent. It's not a really good trade setup, but this is the only option. And for me, I'm not really interested to look for trade at this point. I prefer to wait. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.